Well, it's time to take a bath. It's been a month and a half since I've been able to get into the bath tub. So here we got this is After the Rain from Atomic Bomb Bath and Body. She made these on her YouTube channel a while ago. Is it going to float? It's floating. And that was a big one too. Yeah, she made those on her channel. Um, it's made with a moon press. A moose press, sorry. Moose press. And, um, yes, she was showing like uh, big embeds and um, placement and how to use these things. I think that was the reason for the video. Wow, well, look at the colors coming out. I think she made like multicolored embeds. And that thing is huge. It did ding it like in the corner. Because it's not perfectly round, you know, obviously, because it's a square. So the corners, one corner got a little dusty. But other than that, it was fine. And like I said, she made this a while ago on her channel. And then I've had it for at least two and a half months in my box of bath bombs. So, but it does, it smells nice, it smells fresh, clean, but there's a sweetness to it. Um, obviously, I can't remember what she was using as the scent that day. Um, It's got all the same good stuff that she always puts in her bath bombs, uh, SLSA, um, for bubbles and foam. Um, as you can see, this is foam everywhere and uh, apricot kernel oil and maybe cast red turkey caster, I'm not sure. Um, I don't think she did use it. I can't remember um, but her bath bombs are just so it's like so good so good so good the feeling like when you're sitting in there it's so good um, I'm in a Facebook group that every, everything is like herbal like you can't do post anything that has a mica or something or melt and pour or anything like that. It's all about herbal stuff. And one lady had shared a really nice recipe for a Beldi soap, which is kinda like I'm grabbing like this. This is one that I made. Basically, when you're gonna make liquid soap. You got to cook it all the way down the crock pot and then let it rest, you know, for, I don't know, a couple months maybe or something like that. Um, and then you s start to add, um, what do you call it? You melt it down slowly and add water and you make your own um, liquid soap. But as a paste like that... Um, it can be, that's like how you would make Beldi soap. So this lady posted an amazing recipe. It's not just the traditional olive oil with a little bit of argon oil and smashed off black olives. She put like high quality oils in it and stuff like that. And then I bought two of them off of her. And um, I got the Kessa gloves and everything. So I plan on giving myself a spa treatment and um, yeah and using that Kessa glove and you'll lose like five pounds of freaking dead skin it's gross but your skin feels polished and clean and I mean that's why the women in Morocco they have like flawless skin beautiful skin how, how are we going on this thing Bring them over here. It's only that, like, maybe this 
much left. It's like this greenish blue color, light in the water. Um, lots of different colors came shooting out of that thing. That almost looks like gold over there. Um, so yeah, it's still fizzing out. So many bath bombs. Last the uh, Friday, I went to. I wanted to take a bath, and I couldn't because this stupid thing right there wouldn't go down. So last night, all I had was a sledgehammer. I didn't smash it. Obviously, I just tapped it, and it finally went down. But and then CLR'd the whole bathroom. That didn't help. Didn't do jack shit. Um, so, I still have the crappy water pressure. They haven't fixed that yet. Um, and that's about it. Last week, I think it was Monday, in the middle of the night, the heating system, it was cold. It had dropped down into the low 50s. It was 30 someplace here in Massachusetts. And um, 1 o'clock in the morning, our heating system sounded like a, a rocket ready to blow out of the house and in a panic I just hit the kill switch and I called the next day to complain about it, you know let them know and then I called again then somebody else called with something similar so the guy showed up at my house that was the only reason they showed up because somebody else called with a similar problem so it turns out to be some kind of, they installed brand new ones 10 years ago in the water pump that catches all the water, I guess. Uh, it's like a dehumidifier, some sort of thing. Um, needed to be replaced, so the guy expects every house to like eventually just shit the bed, that thing. But it's scary. Especially at like 1 o'clock in the morning. Because I could hear it in the back of my dreams. Didn't sound loud till my daughter woke, woke me up. And this is... It's just a little piece. Let's crush it and get this over with. I can take my bath. So, that's very pretty blue. It's almost like light denim, bluish green, very, it's very pretty light blue, I've never seen this color in water before, it's not teal, it's almost, I don't know, so, I got you over here so I can see, sorry, um, sure what color to call that. Oh, look at all this, like, gold dust stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's bluish green. Really pretty. So, oh, and I'm also gonna use this little sample I had gotten from Bubble Babes. Sugar scrub, scented in papaya and dragon fruit. So, it's one last thing on my shelf. And... That's it, guys. I'm going to get in this tub. It's been five or six weeks since I've been able to get into the bathtub since I've had time. So, you all have a good day. Bye.